Magic Review. This is your girl, Missy Magic, and I'm back with another episode of In the Life with Missy Magic. To my new people, hey y'all, I'm Missy Magic. To my returning people, welcome back, y'all. with Missy Magic. I am back. Your girl just got done walking. My hair, pe my hair pinned up. I still got my sweatsuit on. The stuff that I walked in. So, I'm fresh and funky making this video for y'all, okay? <laughs> but, before we get into the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we're gonna talk about it. So, today, we're gonna be talking about the three P's. Well, Missy Magic, what's the three P's? The three P's. The three P's. I got y'all. So, the three P's. Perseverance, persistency, and patience. So, these three P's are three things that will assist you in whatever journey you are on. Just like in the, the first and second Motivational Mondays with Missy Magic. I've been talking to y'all about trusting the process, this journey that y'all on, just whatever y'all got going, you know? So, that's what we're talking about today in, on Motivational Mondays with Missy Magic. The three P's. Don't forget them. Now, what are they? That's right. Perseverance, persistency, and patience. So, the first one, perseverance. What does perseverance mean? Well... I define perseverance as um, you keep going. You know, you don't give up when things get hard. You 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 strive to the end. You know, when things get hard, when things get tough, you don't give up. You keep going. You keep going. You keep going. That's what perseverance is to me. So if you have um, a perseverance mindset, oh, that's gonna get. That's gonna get you through a lot in life. That's really gonna get you through a lot in life. Um, so I know, like, you know, life is hard. You know, I feel like life is not meant to be easy. Honestly, life is meant to make us stronger. So we go through a lot of things in life that are tough. Um, that sometimes we don't even think we're gonna be able to make it through. But if you have the mindset of persevering and continuously pushing through when things get tough and things get hard. Oh, baby, you can make it through anything. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. You go amaze yourself. You are gonna be doing things and get through things that you never thought that you would be able to get through. For example, you have been with a nigga for about seven years. Y'all been on and off for about seven years in a whole toxic relationship. You finally decide to leave this toxic nigga in this toxic situation. And here you are, three years later, living your best life outside of this toxic situation, you know, without this nigga that you thought you could not live without. Be careful what you say. Just like I was telling uh, on one of my vlogs, well, I haven't posted it yet, but I posted a snippet on my Instagram and my TikTok. Be careful what you say because the tongue is a powerful thing. So... If you have in your mind that you can't do something, you're not going to be able to do it. Because listen to your mindset or look at your mindset. You know, if you have it in your mind that you can't do it, then you're not going to be able to do it. Because you already got to set in your mind that you can't do it. You have to think the impossible, you know. Even if, you, even if you feel like you can't do it, still try to do it. Just like the example that I just gave. You know, you being in a toxic situation and you getting out of that toxic situation and you're doing great without the man you know you won't know until you try so if you stay persistent and you continuously try 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 whatever it is and don't give up and remain humble throughout the process oh baby that's all you really need honestly persistency baby persistency remember it keep going i don't care how hard it gets you know I seen this one post. It said, um, being poor is hard and being or getting wealthy is is hard. You know, you gotta choose your heart. Do you wanna be stuck in the same situation or the same circumstances that you were in a whole year ago, or do you wanna elevate? You know, so it's gonna be hard either way. If you stay in your same situation and you are already struggling, or if you try to make it to the next level and become wealthy, either way it's gonna be hard, you know. 
it's gonna be mountains to climb either way. So baby, pick whichever mountain you wanna climb and climb it, okay? And don't look down. Keep on going up, okay? So remember, persistency, 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 go get you through a lot of things, okay? Number two, the next P is, all right y'all, so the second P is persistency. So I feel like persistency is a lot like consistency. I feel like it's just, um, they synonyms on the side. I feel like they, saying, they mean the same thing. You just, um, you continuously doing something, you know? So like, for example, my YouTube channel, um, I've gotten more persistent or more consistent, but we're gonna say persistent because we wanna, you know, keep it with the three Ps. I've been more persistent with my channel, so now I post like probably three, four times out the week. So persistency to me is um when you when you continuously do one thing, you know, you sh you show efforts in doing that one thing and you continuously do that one thing. So my persistency is me continuously promoting my channel. I don't go a day without promoting my channel. I promote it on all social medias, my Twitter, my Snapchat, my Facebook sometimes, as well as my Instagram. So yeah, persistency to me is just when you constantly doing one particular thing and you're putting your efforts in one particular thing and you making sure that whatever efforts you're putting into this one particular thing is um, is evolving daily, you know? So it's, it's growing, you know? It's getting better, you know, whatever it is. So I feel like persistency, but I tell you, every time, every time I don't do the video, somebody called me, hold on. You know, okay, yeah, so that was my brother that called me. Um, so yeah, persistency, persistency, persistency. That's the second P and I feel like that'll get you, um, you know, to wherever you're trying to get to, you know, even if that means like, like I don't use this example a lot, but you know, a lot of people, um, don't want to be entrepreneurs. A lot of people want to, you know, work their Monday through Friday, their nine to five, and they want to just move up with their company. So I feel like. Um, if you want, say, say, we're going to take this one as an example. Someone wanting a promotion on their job or trying to move up in their job. Um, the way that you can use persistency is get down and just showing your efforts. Just, con um, constantly, every single day you go to work, you show that you want this promotion. How do you show that you want this promotion? You take action. You continuously do stuff that's not in your job title that you will be doing in the promotion that you want, that's what you start doing. You know, you take initiative and you do it every single day. And when you do it, do it every single day, that's constantly doing something. That's persistency to me. So I feel like persistency takes you a long way as well because people seeing it, you know? People are seeing it every single day. If you are persistent with whatever you're doing, whatever you're promoting, I feel like people, it shows people that you're serious about what you're promoting or whatever you're trying to do. Me, for example, again, that's me um, posting videos. I post like three, four videos a week. And I this is gonna be video number four that I have ha who need, what needs to be edited and uploaded. So I have four videos, including this one that I'm making right now, that needs to be uploaded to my channel. And I just uploaded a video today. So that is persistency. And I feel like when people, you know, when people really see persistency, they, sh I feel like it shows, like, me, if I see someone being persistent with something, it shows me that they care about what they're doing, um, they care about elevating what they're doing, um, and they're serious about, you know, what they're doing. They're very passionate about it, you know? So, persistency can take you a long way as well. Um, that is the second P. Now, the third P is patience. Now, I feel like I talk about this all the time because patience is one of the key components with anything. You could be praying for, you know what patience is. Patience is just sitting and waiting, okay? That's what patience is. That's my definition. I gave y'all my definitions of all three of these words. So, you could be praying for a house. Say today I said, God, please let me get this house that I just applied for. And nobody gets back to you. And it takes them... Five months to get back to you, not not because you um, didn't qualify, but they were looking at other applicants. And so, instead of waiting those five months to get that call back to say that you got that house that you applied for, you decide to um, go and move you a town home because you're tired of being in your you know two bedroom apartment or whatever. So. You just missed out on a bigger blessing, which is nothing wrong with townhomes. But if you were playing, if you were praying for a home, 
then why would you settle for something else? You know? So that's just like you praying for one thing, but you settling for something else because you weren't patient enough to wait for you to get that approval for that home. That was already yours. Like I said before, what is what's for you is gonna always be for you and nobody can take that away from you. So patience is key. Like I cannot stress that enough. Y'all have to be patient. And that's just like, um, well, I'm not I'm not even gonna speak on that because that's gonna be in my next motivation of Monday video. I already got it for y'all. But patience is key. Like patience will really take you a long way. And I feel like I feel like when you have to wait for things, it teaches you to be more grateful for the process. Like, thank you, God, for allowing me to wait. I really was able to, you know, get my thoughts together and realize why I had to wait. Sometimes you have to wait because you're not even ready for the blessing that you even praying for. Okay? We often think just because we're praying for it that God is supposed to automatically give it to us. No, that's not how it works and that's not that's not how he works, okay? So I need y'all to understand, if you're praying for something, you have to know in your mind, in your heart, in your soul that God is going to bless you with whatever you're praying for, regardless of how long it takes, you know? Our God is a patient God, so why can't we be patient with him? You know, you just have to be patient. I don't care what it is. YouTube channel a promotion a raise i don't care a new car a house be patient you know if if you have if you have the faith that it's yours then it's yours you just have to be patient you gotta ride this process out just like the last motion motivational monday you gotta ride it out baby you gotta trust the process and trusting the process is not easy but it's necessary to make it through the process okay so you just have to be patient you have to be patient you have to be patient what's meant for you will always be for you nobody can take that away um nobody can block that blessing you know it's gonna be for you what god has for you will always be for you and no one else okay he's gonna have something specifically for you you just have to be patient and wait for it okay so that's it i gave it to y'all real straight real raw baby right here with me see magic so make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next episode of in the life with me see magic